Josh Simo, the head coach of Libertyville Boys Gymnastics. Were you a high school gymnast? I was not. I started gymnastics at the age of four um, at a local club in Hanover Park, Tuncana. I competed at club um, since I was four up until the high school years. What do you think the difference is between the club environment and the high school environment? Yeah, so the high school environment, definitely more of that team community and team atmosphere. Um, you have guys that are really rooting for you and really counting on for you to make that team score. In the more the club uh, setting, I didn't really have a team and it was more of that individual sport. So really building those relationships and that community within the gym, um, that's really the biggest thing. Now, I know that you, uh, you, you had a state championship team. Uh, 2019. So t tell me a little bit about that team. Uh, that team was amazing, and you can see, see the difference in that team. I mean, they were friends both in the gym and outside of the gym. You would always hear about them. Um, the classes they had together, the time that they spent outside the gym hanging out. Um, and just really that, them holding each other accountable for what needed to be done and holding each other accountable for what they know that their, their teammate was able to do. Um, and just really just that, that commitment and to be disciplined in the gym and to continue that focus. Uh, did you go into that state competition knowing you were going to win? We didn't. So yeah, great story. So it was uh, throughout the whole year between Niles West and Glenbrook North. Um, every time we competed against them and every invite, we lost. We took second or third. And I kept telling the guys, I'm like, I'm going to win when it counts. I'm going to win when it counts. And then sure enough, when state came around, we won by only half a point. So it was a, it was a close competition, but even just the, the camaraderie within the other teams, um, both myself with the coaches and also the teammates. I mean, the teams versus teams, I mean, that camaraderie was there and it was a fun competition and a friendly competition. So I have, I have gymnasts coming back and keeping in contact with me that have graduated five, six, seven years ago, coming back into the gym, wanting to still continue to, to work out and tr jump back up on the equipment after they haven't touched it in a while. Um, I have some current gymnasts that have graduated that are still going through the uh, collegiate programs or going through college, and they're enrolling in any club programs that they can just to, to continue to be with the sport because they love the sport so much. Um, and what I've heard, heard the guys say is just the discipline that they've learned, the time commitment that they've learned within the gym. They've been able to apply some of those, those other skills that they've learned that are not gymnastics. The, the team commitment, the teamwork, the collaboration into their real life. So I think gymnastics is a great opportunity for those athletes that, and students that they don't feel that they can find a place in another sport and they don't feel that they're able to excel maybe in other sports and they find that home within gymnastics. Um, our retention rate as well on the team is just super significant. We retain about 95, 96% of our gymnasts year after year. Um, but even like we hold those students accountable for those academics within the gym where there's been times where we've had gymnasts sit out for the first 30, 45 minutes of practice to get work done, to set up time to meet with teachers, to get any academic support from myself or my uh, assistant coaches who are also in the education field. So we really prior to prioritize education and the academics first, and we hold students accountable for that, and that comes prior to the athletics, and we make sure that's clear to parents as well. You gotta help us out, you gotta save us. Um, it is, it is uh, very important for our for our high school students um, for opportunity to find something so that they can be included in and for also something that helps keep them accountable for their academics. And it has definitely changed me as an individual and helped me be the person that I am today. And like I said, I started when I was four and even after graduating college, it, I knew this was something that was just in my blood and I had to keep going. And it's now something that's just a part of my life. Um, and I see the same thing with future gymnasts and current gymnasts. Love it. Thank you, sir. Thank you.